Okay, here we are with Andrew, and uh, again, we're talking about nose work. One of the questions that every new trainer is going to want to know is, how long should I train in each session? And then, just as importantly, how do I end a training session? Um, it's a good question. It's something that is very different from dog to dog as far as how long they're going to go. The um, I guess the simple answer would be, that you never want to push the dog past where their interest is declining. So um, we do all this stuff to build motivation and get the dogs um, excited in a high arousal state to do this activity. If we start to see that to decline, we've gone too long. So that would be the easiest way for me to explain that. But it's not a certain amount of time or trials or anything. Um, it's really about a point and um, where the dogs, to me, where their actual like mental interest is and their physical stamina is. Um, how to end it in the beginning, and again, this is kind of um, referring to aid placement in the training lab, what we're talking about, the initial stages of training, I, um, I always start and finish in the first spot to build um, the pattern that we want the dog to go and start wherever that first presentation is, it takes place, and have the dogs work in a clockwise fashion. So to reinforce that and make that um, more likely to occur, um, we start there and we, and we finish there. Mm -hmm. Why don't you, uh, just for uh, pet dog trainers that don't have a lot of experience with sure. tracking dogs or, or uh, detector dogs, why don't you talk a little bit about trying to get a feel for your dog uh, using his nose versus his mouth and panting a little bit and what that does. They um, have to learn how to do it, but why don't you talk a little bit about it? As far as... Um, the dog doing it or as far when the dog gets tired and he starts to pant and you know get like when you see scott's dog or any of these other dogs when they're they're panting obviously they're not using their nose they're using sure. their mouth yeah and there, there needs to be a there needs to be a feel there for people figuring out their dog can he smell with his mouth um their ability to to um do the detection work that we want them to do is greatly decreased when they're open mouth panting, when they're tired. And, um, well, first of all, when they're tired, they're kind of distracted as far as doing, um, focusing on an activity because they're not as fresh as we'd like them to be. But when they're just breathing that hard through their mouth, they're not using their nose the way we would like them to. Because they push the training too it's long or the dog's out of condition. Or yes, exactly. So it could be either one of those things. Um, and again, with some dogs that may happen in, a minute and a half and some dogs that may be 25 minutes um mm -hmm. not that you normally want to do a 25 minute training session in the training lab with these dogs mm -hmm. but um it's going to happen at different points for different dogs and um often the the higher drive um toy and tug or ball uh, motivated dogs that put a lot of energy into everything they do and they can't really control that that's what they've been bred for mm -hmm. and often why we like them and have them that can occur um much faster than some of the lower drive yeah pet dogs that work for food. So it's one of the things that you really, it depends on the dog um, and you have to just watch them. Um, the dogs that aren't putting nearly as much effort into it, I mean, they're still working, but they're not um, as um, driven as some of the other dogs we have. It, it takes um, a lot longer for them to, to burn out as far as physical stamina, but they may lose interest. Um, and that may be a reason why you would want to cut the, um, the training session to a shorter amount of time. Okay. We're going to do a number of dog training videos with Andrew Ramsey on nose work. If you or your friends uh, or you have a dog club that's interested in a seminar on nose work, you can go to Andrew's website, we've put it on the screen here, and contact him. He gives excellent seminars.